Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today we're gonna be making buffalo chicken sliders on a waffle. You heard that right, on a waffle. Um, I am all about sweet and savory. I absolutely love um, waffles and chicken, like Roscoe's, and that is totally not keto, but I like to make my own keto version with a kick, you know, a little spicy, a little buffalo, um, and a little syrup still. All the ingredients were posted on that picture before. Uh, the video started, um, so stay tuned and I'll walk you through the process. All right, so I like to start off with making the waffle first. Um, I already have the waffle maker heating up over there. Um, and for the waffle mix, I wanted to keep it simple today. I usually don't mind making like my own blender um, pancake mix and then obviously just turning it into a waffle. Um, but I bought these at Target. These are the Birch Bender uh, Keto pancake waffle mixes and they're bomb and they're super convenient especially for making something like this um, so to make the consistency of a waffle a little bit thicker you want to mix three-fourths cup of the um, of the pancake mix one tablespoon of coconut oil I did melt it for about 30 seconds in the microwave so that way it's not like solidified um, and then a half cup of water and you're just gonna mix that in a little bowl now this does look like a little bit, now that I'm mixing it, um, this probably will make like maybe one to two waffles, which is totally okay. Make more if you need to. All right, now next, you're gonna get your waffle maker. Get some Pam or whatever it is that you like to use for cooking. Spray that down. That way the waffle doesn't stick. And then you're gonna pour the waffle mix. All up in there. This is really hard to do with just one hand, so give me a second. I'm going to show you the final product. The waffle is in there, looking good. Um, I do like mine super burnt, so I'm going to leave it in there for a little bit longer, but you obviously make your waffle to your liking. All right, so next we're going to work on the breading of the chicken. Um, I have the oven preheated at 375. And the breadcrumbs that are ketofied are going to be uh, grinded pork rinds. You can make your own. These are just super convenient because they're really finely milled. But I mean, a bag of chicharrones is like 99 cents. You could definitely do it yourself. Um, and I did throw a little bit of almond flour in the mix just so that the breading could stick. The last time I did just chicharron, um, and it stayed, but not as well as I would like it to. And you also want to have one egg for your egg wash. Um, so what we're going to do here... I'm going to grab tongs so I don't want no salmonella. I'm going to get the chicken, little chicken strips, fillets that I got, and I'm just going to bread it. And then I'm going to put it in the egg wash. Kind of just let it soak in. And then I'm going to bread it again. And it should be fully coated. And once it is fully coated, then you can go ahead and just set it down um, on a piece of aluminum paper or uh, if you prefer to, prefer to use like a baking mat or parchment paper, which I know is healthier, whatever your preference is, set that aside. And then once your oven is ready, you're going to pop that in for about 15 to 20 minutes um, just until the chicken is done. Or you can air fry it if you have an air fryer. If you're one of those lucky few, I do not have one yet. Um, I definitely need to get one. $99 is an investment and I would the hell out of it so if you have an air fryer I think the uh, cook time on that is a little bit different but probably could. so I finished breading the chicken this is what it looks like um, and I did forget to mention that I marinated the chicken with some pickle juice just a little bit for about like two hours um, in the refrigerator so that way it can kind of soak up a little bit of flavor and now I'm gonna pop it in um, I'll set a timer for 15 minutes but I'll check on it periodically and see how it looks all right while the chicken tenders are in the oven, I'm going to start making the sauce, um, the buffalo sauce, and it's basically just some Frank's Red Hot Sauce for the wings and about a tablespoon of butter. I'm going to let that simmer um, and just mix, and then once the chicken is done, I'm going to go ahead and coat it with that. All right, so our chicken tenders are out of the oven, and this is our sauce with butter. I'm just going to grab the chicken tender and just put it in there and just let it get coated and you're going to do that until each tender has been um, coated with the sauce so 
this here is what the chicken tenders should look like after they've been um, sauteed in the sauce. And you're going to set those aside and we're going to start working on the coleslaw next. Alright, so the coleslaw is pretty easy. Um, I just got like a pre-made bag at Trader Joe's. I think it was like almost $3 super cheap. Um, the dressing that it does come with though does is higher on the carbs. Um, so I would just put very little and then mix it in. And voila, it's done. That's it. Like I said, easy, 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 easy. And lazy is all you'll find on my channel. All right, now it is time to assemble uh, your buffalo chicken slider. So here I have my buffalo. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a little bit of that cold salt right onto the waffle. I'm gonna be making four sliders since there are four pieces of the waffle. Once the coleslaw is on there, you're going to get a piece of your chicken and you're just going to set it on top. And then what I like to do, that butter green sauce is so long. I love sweet and savory, so I'm going to put a little bit of, of uh, sugar-free maple syrup and just drizzle it on top. And let me put this on. So I just like to drizzle. So good. Alright, so this here is the final product. Buffalo chicken slider.